and ammonium struck Igumo community, Yuanwen local government area of Edo state following the mysterious death of community members which they traced to the curse placed on some people by the forebears of Oba UR11, the Oba of Benin. The inhabitants of the community besieged the palace of the Oba of Benin on Monday, March 19, tears, appealing for the revocation of the alleged curse placed on the community by the palace. It would be recalled that the Esogban of Benin Kingdom, Chief David Adbiri, had warned that people should avoid the curse of the Oba because according to him, those who had incurred the wrath of the Oba always come later to beg for revocation but it is always difficult. However, the community members attributed the curse placed on the community to what they described as the sacrilegious acts of disobedience of native norms by the former officials of the Outlaw Community Development Association CTA in the village who flouted the orders of a monoba. They cried that since after the curse, mysterious deaths, strange diseases as well as untold afflictions have been ravaging the community. He said, the secretary of the Iguanan community, Joseph Adaro who spoke on behalf of the community, said they were at the palace to appeal to the monarch as the supreme traditional authority in the state to revoke all the curses placed on Iguanan village by his ancestors, stressing that the people of the village were ready to carry out all the necessary rights needed for the revocation of the curse. They also pleaded with Amonoba to consider the approval of Mr. Roland Okrobo as the rightful Odayan Weir of Iguaman village. The Oba should come to our rescue because our own disrespect and disloyalty led us into this problem. We have promised to refrain from every immoral behavior and we thank God that government has banned the CTAs who created this problem. Our people are dying of different diseases so we came to beg because we can no longer continue to suffer. Meanwhile, we had reported that hundreds of native doctors converged at the Oba of Benin Palace to revoke the curses placed on victims of human trafficking in order to encourage victims to return home to Nigeria without fear of repercussion. The order for the oath reversal was made by the Benin monarch, Oba Uer II. Oba Uer XI said Governor Godwin Obaseki had pleaded with him to help reduce the spate of human trafficking in the state.